Alright guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. In this video, gagawa tayo ng equipment guide for Nino Kuni Endgame Builds. So, in this video, we will talk about the pros and cons ng 4-star build versus the rare 4-star builds. So, dito, meron din tayong uh, endgame suggestion builds para sa mga players. At, uh, Meron din tayo dito mga familiar combo para sa ating equipment builds. So before we start this video, don't forget to like and share this video. This helps you guys. Subscribe in our YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook for live streams. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's begin. Let's go to the topic ng pros and cons. So what is the pros and cons ng normal 4-star gears? So as you can see here, let's go to the shop. In terms of summoning, you can see here the summon rates ng normal 4-star gears ay ito, nakalagay dyan. So mas mataas yung uh, summoning chances mo of a normal 4-star gear than a rare 4-star gear which is the one with the beautiful background behind the item. So, as you can see here, para siyang may mga star star sa likod. So, yan yung rare 4 star. So, that's number one. So, what is the effect of having a higher chance in rolling summons ng normal 4 star gear? Second pros niya ay ang is easier to awaken. So, bakit? Since mas mataas yung summoning chance mo, ng 4-star gears rather than rare is mas madali mo siyang ma-awaken. So, as you can see here, awaken 7 na yung saintly ko while yung uh, rare 4-star ko na gear is wala pang awaken kahit marami na on summon. Since napakababa ng chance niya, mahirap mag-build ng 4-star rares. Unless, you are RNG carried, guys. Uh, having a normal 4-star build. So, what are the cons of using a normal 4-star items? So, number one is, if you compare that to the base stats ng uh, rare 4-stars, mas mataas yung base stats ng rare 4-stars. But again, since mas madali mo siyang ma-awaken, later on, mas madaling tumaas yung power mo ng 4-star uh, normals so, uh, not really a con, pero yun yung medyo cons na nakikita natin sa paggamit ng normal na 4-star gear. So, now let's go to the topic of uh, rare 4-star. So, as you can see here, the pros of having a normal 4-star uh, rare are, are you the sure about base stats. So, as you can see here, meron akong uh, rare earth bow which is only awaken 2 na mayroon na siya kagad 3638 attack so if we compare that to the awaken 7 na normal 4 star gear is mas mataas siya kagad kahit awaken 7 yung um weapon ko so again this is cursed so may bearing din yan sa attack pero ang based on my computation a rare 4 star item a rare 4 star item awaken 3 is equivalent to almost an awaken 7 normal 4 star gears so again an awaken level 3 rare 4 star item is equivalent to as level 7 normal 4 star so etong gear ko na to if ma awaken 3 ko yung rare ko katong bastya na is Level 7 na normal 4 star. So, yun yung ano nila. Yun yung advantages naman ng rare 4 star gear. Kahit low awaken siya, mataas yung katumbas niya sa normal 4 star. So, that's the pros of having a rare 4 star build. So, again, the cons. The cons should be it's harder to awaken. Since mababa yung summoning chances, mahirap siyang ma-craft. Yun yung cons ng using a 4-star rare item. So now, let's go to the topic of equipment build. 
So equipment build as you can see here sa aking item is it's a mix of uh, a rare four star and a normal four star item. So let me explain kung bakit ganito yung naging uh, choice ko. So let's go to the armors. So as you can see here, there are uh, a quite few choices in building your headgears. But for me, my choice of item is Saintly Circlet. So bakit Saintly Circlet? I chose Saintly Circlet because it gives this awakening effect. So bakit mahalaga tong defense plus 17%? Kasi itong awakening effect na to is nagmumultiply siya sa lahat ng item na merong defense na binibigay. So... The higher your base defense from other items, mas malaki yung pinagkukuna ng percentage effect ng ating awakening circlet, ah, saintly circlet. Kaya maganda tong item na to as our main headgear equipment. So that's a number one reason kung bakit pinili kong mag saintly circlet. Now, if you want to go for a rare headgear item, my choice would be it's either Immortal Helmet because of the resist rate at level 10 awakening. This is a 30% resist rate on all control, crowd control effects. So, stun knockdown subdue resist rate is plus 30%. But again, considering the cons of using a rare 4 star item, mahirap siyang i-awaken 10. So, here, Overlord, this one is not so much because damage from familiars and this one is for the whales this is uh, from the asteroid equipment now let's go to the armors so here as you can see i went for the celestial armor why because of the same awakening effect the percentage base max HP. So, this is the number one choice natin because of the percentage awakening effect. So, same. As your HP uh, increases, as malaki yung pinagkukuna ng percentage, the more awakening bonus yung makukuha nyo or, or HP stats yung makukuha nyo as your HP increases because of this item and its awakening effect. So, what are the substitute for this armor? I'm not suggesting anything because pangit yung iba niyang kasama. This one is for whales, of course. You can buy this from Asteroid Equipment. So, this is out of uh, out of choice. So, hindi talaga ito mapipili as uh, normal uh, players. So, pwede lang to sa mga super whales. Other than that, ito, you can combo this one with the this helmet, the immortal helmet. So, napakataas ng resist rate mo dyan. But then again, the cons is it's hard to awaken. So, now let's go to the gloves. So, for the gloves, I went for the berserker gloves because of basic skill cooldown. So, at awaken 10, it's a minus 15% basic skill cooldown for the berserker gloves. So, what are the other choice? Here is the master gloves. This is okay for range class because you can maintain your HP at 80% and you deal more damage. So this is a good substitute for the Berserker Gloves. At Awaken 10, it gives you plus 15% damage when your HP is at 80%. So this is a good substitution for Berserker Gloves. But I only recommend this for range class since you can maintain your HP or it's uh, most likely matagal bumaba yung HP nyo under 80%. So you can kite using these gloves. So this one is for the melee. You can use this special skill down because the cooldown of special skills are too long or the duration is higher than the basic skills. So as we said earlier, ang skill cooldown ng mga special skills are around 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and at max is 60 seconds. So this is a good uh, gloves to negate the cooldown of our special skills. 
But my choice for this uh, section is the Berserker gloves. So let's go to the boots. For the boots, there are choices of flash, uh, flash shoes, um, Dragon Slayer, but most likely I went for the basic basic attack evasion because as a rogue my end game build are full evasion so i went for the expert boots because of its evasion rate so again i have two choices here it's expert boots and the dragon slayer boots for this for the skill evasion rate so why did i went for the basic uh, evasion rate it's because again of the cons of it's harder to awaken this 4 star item.